Did I do that right? Okay, so this is not how I planned to spend my Monday evening. Um, I have two other videos worth of footage to edit and post at some point. I've got the second half of my Bristol vlog and another Cards Against Humanity game that me and James played. I've also got some new work to do, but I feel like this is more important and it's very current. I am a big fan of a YouTuber called Dodi. Um, Dodi Clark, Dodi Loggle, Dodi Voggle. Yeah. She plays the video all about the relationship between uh, mainstream media and YouTube, which is a very interesting and at times quite negative thing. But it's something I also had the good fortune of studying at college when I did uh, media studies A-level. One of my favourite cartoons growing up, one of my favourite comics, one of my favourite film series growing up was uh, X-Men. But the main three groups are the X-Men, the Brotherhood, and the Humans. On the one hand, you've got the good YouTubers, who are the X-Men, and they are the people who Dodie, you know, name dropped in that video. And to be fair, I would include Dodie and several others that I would watch as well in that, in that category. But good YouTubers who are good role models who are providing representation and creative content and just fun for, you know, a ton of people out there. And on the other side, you've got the Brotherhood, or in this example, the bad YouTubers, like a collective group of human beings. You know, there are bound to be some bad eggs in that, and that's not making excuses, that's just saying, you know, it's not YouTube's fault or YouTubers' fault, the, the fact that some of the other YouTubers aren't so good. And these people can be compared to people in the mainstream media who also exploit their position or their power or their audience for whatever reason. One of the things that's commendable about the YouTube community that Dodie also talks about is the fact that when YouTubers do bad things, when bad YouTubers exist, you know, the rest of the community calls them out, you know, they, they get named and shamed and dropped. And a couple of years back, there was a guy called Jason, V1I. More recently, there was obviously Sam Pepper as well, and large portions of the YouTube community sort of pointed at them as examples when their stories came out and said, hey, that's not us. That's not the YouTube community, that's not what we do. You know, and distance themselves from that because it's not okay what they did and it's not right and it's not what the YouTube community is about. That's something good about the YouTube community, we, we don't tolerate things. I say we, like I'm part of it. I am part of it, I guess. Fuck, fuck, inclusion. Inclusion is another great thing about the YouTube community. Anyone can do it. Anyone can just buy a cheap camera secondhand, as I've done, and start producing content because why the fuck not? Now obviously the third group I talked about were the humans, and in this case, that's the mainstream media. One of the main points of the X-Men story is how those genetically superior next stage of evolution humans and the already existing not next stage of evolution humans coexist, and if they're able to, or if they end up just fighting until one of them is extinct. Now, humans often are quite scared of what they don't understand, or obviously in, in, in the X-Men case, and in this case, they fear for their survival. Um, you know, in, in the X-Men, you know, they're, they're not top dog anymore. In the same way, but maybe not to the same extent yet, YouTube and other emerging or to emerge platforms, you know, mean that the mainstream media isn't necessarily top dog anymore. You know, there's, there's other forms, there's other ways of getting content that you want to receive. And, you know, so the mainstream media sometimes reacts negatively because it wants to survive. <laughs> well, bring it into politics for fun because I want people to hate me, apparently. But whatever your opinion on Donald Trump is, what you think he's the best president the United States has ever had, or if you think that he's the devil incarnate, or anywhere in between, What's more of a threat to mainstream media? Is it a boy in his university accommodation flat with Amazon boxes and a hairdryer box for a tripod? Or is it the President of the United States calling out news corporations and television programs and other outlets of mainstream media, fake news and just putting them down because he feels that his Twitter is better. It's just a thought. <laughs> but really what we should all be doing is celebrating the fact that hey, there's not just the mainstream media, there's now both. You know, we can get content from all sorts of places and we can create content. Isn't that something great? <laughs> Can't we all just coexist and create content together and have a great time? Why not?